Hi, my name is Dennis Bookmiller. I live in Chesterfield, Missouri. While I was building my home 29 years ago in Chesterfield, I discovered an area that showed a lot of fossils in the ancient seabed called the Western Interior Seaway. And I had picked up all I could and carried them in a backpack to my truck before the bulldozers came and covered the entire thing up. So I have a collection of stuff, but I'm not a professional. And if you can help me identify things, please leave a message for me. I would appreciate it. Thank you. Here are some unusual rocks that I picked up when we were building our house here in Chesterfield. This one, to me, looks like it could be the pattern of a turtle shell back or a tree. This one reminds me of a bone by its shape, but I have no idea if it really is a bone or a plant. Very interesting though. This also, I have no idea what it is. Uh, it's plant or animal, but it's very unique. Another one, it's uh, hard to tell whether it's animal or plant, but it does have hollowed out centers. So and I have pretty, a good number of these that look like they might be uh, tree stems or tree trunks. I don't know, maybe coral. Another one, I'm not sure of what it could be but it definitely was a live something or other at one time. Get another one. There's quite a few, like I said, like this. Get another one, a little heftier. We have no idea if it's plant or animal. This I'm not sure of, but it, uh, in doing research on the internet, looking for something that looks like this, it uh, resembles quite a bit uh, dinosaur dung. These apparently uh, contain uh, oysters inside. I haven't broken this one open, but I've seen videos where people do break them open and they find the shells inside. It was loaded with quartz crystals, and I have quite a good collection of those too. This looks like a uh, sand bed that got covered up by something that uh, compressed and made into uh, the crystal. There are many quartz crystals. I don't know what exactly, if this was started out to be a geode and got broken in half. Not important, but just very unique. Again, uh, Come to think of it, I think this also could be... There's some more of the crystals. It's a large chunk of coral. Again, uh, this area, little formation with some fossils in it. Very unique thing there. It's very unique also. It looks like a sand bed with all kinds of crystals forming in it. I think this is a fossilized part of the um, plant. There's some more of the crystals fossil embedded in rock. More of what looked like could have been a seabed with things uh, being fossilized. Large chunk of um, the crystals. Interesting formation. A layer of something softer on top of the harder rock. Very odd combination of different types of material. Many of these in the rocks. That I don't know what it is. This odd piece caught my eye and the more I looked at it the more I saw. For example, there's some fossils. There's some more fossils and very large amount of small, small fossils. This big piece 
is very heavy and is uh, just full of crystals. Some of them that are pointed even. Very unique piece that has fossil of some kind in it. This little fossil known as the trilobite uh, was in with the uh, other large stones I have and uh, setting pretty much on what I think was a uh, sand bar. I really like this thing. As you can see, it's very small and the underside just has the uh, sand looking on it. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> what a beautiful shell. Here are two items that are separated by 100 million years. A rock and also some live moss. I did not plant that on there. It just got on there by itself sitting in the yard. It's a very unusual rock. It has nice details and of course crystal in the middle. <clears throat> and that's what it looks like from the underside. It's easy to pass up when you don't know what you're looking at.